So, hello everyone. Um, I'm back. Uh, so, as you know, I'm still on the Imperials, but I've just... I've given uh, one a go. I did it on a slow... A sl slow? A slow. A slow p uh, pour. Basically, not a lot of catalyst, otherwise it would have cracked. It's still warm and it needs to go into a tap to cool off. Um, so, I've made my very first casting of a plunger that's solid resin and then whatever's left in some other moulds. Not perfect, but it can work. Uh, on the final one, I'm going to, I can still use this, it's just a bit of body filler and all that, but I'm really, really proud. It's one whole section, apart from the cones, it's missing the cones. So I'll show it now. And again, there are air pockets, but I'm pretty pleased with it and it's starting to warm now that it's out of the mould. Uh, so this was the area that I poured it through and of course this is where the air needs to escape. I'm really really happy with that. Just a bit of sand in here and there. Fill these little air pockets. Then these bits here, yeah, like I say. So what I'm going to do on the official ones, now that I know that it works, I'm going to use gel coat as a skin layer so that I can build up these layers just enough. Um, and also this one, as you can see, it doesn't have the cones at the bottom because then it would it really would have got stuck and I've done a separate mold for them. So I'm really happy that this section, like I say, I can still probably use it, but that is a solid um, plunger. But again, it's not fully done. It needs cleaning. Probably save it with some body filler to fix those edges. But yeah, it can work. So I'm going to have some um, Imperial plungers.